Hey guys, it is Pixar Man 2001, and today I'm going to do a video that I've been waiting to do for for a while. Um, this is my Terminator collection. I'm talking about like the movies and stuff. You know, the Terminator is one of my favorite franchises. Arnold Schwarzenegger is great in it. It's just amazing, and I have the movies here. Okay, so here we go. First up is the Terminator. This is from 1984. And it was a great movie when it came I didn't see it when it came out, of course. I just saw it recently, like last year, actually, because I wasn't old enough to see it until last year. Yeah, I felt I was ready for it last year. But yeah, anyways, um... Yeah, Terminator, yeah, there's the front. Yeah, it's a great movie. And there's the spine. I actually found this at Value Village, new and sealed, for $3 last year. And there's the back. A fast, clever, suspenseful, and shocking piece of work. It's stated by Los Angeles Times. And the special feet there, yeah, it says rated R in USA, 18A in Canada, and it's, um... It doesn't say it. an hour and 47 minutes, which would be 107 minutes. And the special features include original theatrical trailer and DVD ROM script screen. So this is pretty bare bones. This is just a, this is the reissue of the 2001 DVD. And this DVD really, this is a 1984 film, and the DVD is from 2004. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a 2001 film by no, this is a this is a 1984 film by Hemdale Film Corporation, distributed by Orion Pictures. And this is a 2004 DVD by MGM Home Entertainment. Um, yeah, so basically, um, but yeah, there was a DVD originally in 2001, that had, it was a double-sided, it had more. So if I was to upgrade, if I was to get a different edition, I would either get that one, or the new Blu-ray release from 2015, or actually it was 2013, but they reissued it with a different cover in 2015. Th those would be the, the two uh, I would choose from. Yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, this is a great, this is a great movie. It's about, yeah, you know, if you've seen the Terminator films, you know what it's about, so... If you don't know, just look it up. I don't really have time to talk because I only have 21 minutes left in this memory card that I'm filming it on. But anyways, um, there's the disc where you see the Arnold and the endoskeleton. Yep. And this is a um, great, yeah, great film. I recommend The Terminator if you like these kind of movies, like sci-fi movies. Alright, next up is, actually I have two copies of um, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I have um, the Ultimate Edition, which I got for free once at, I was at a guy, uh, my, my, one of my dad's friend's houses. He was giving away a bunch of movies and he said, take whatever you want, it's all free. And this was one of them, so I figured, why not? That was in 2014, I, haven't, I hadn't seen the movies yet, but I figured I, went up till, I would wait a bit until I watched them. But I got this one just in case I wanted to at some point, and it was free, so I was glad. And also I have the Extreme DVD, which I got at the... At the Harborview Market for um, four bucks. Yeah, it was. Um, and then, yeah, there's the ultimate. This, this didn't come with the slip cover. My uncle's copy, however, does have the slip cover. Yeah, because my uncle actually got it. It came out. I, I, of course, this edition's out of print. This edition's out of print. But it was. Um, but yeah, this one didn't come with a slipcover, but yeah, there's the spine. There's a little sticker on there for some, re some reason. The spine. The back. This one has over, um, like, lots of good special features. There's technical features. Yeah, documentaries, special features, yeah, trailers, casting crew information. Yeah, it says six hours of content on two DVD nines, yeah. Yeah, basically what happened, also this includes, um, the, this version includes the theatrical version, the special edition, and the extended special edition. I could not find the extended special edition, so if anyone knows how to access it on this DVD, let me, please let me know, because I would like to watch that version, because it is, because I, I, I'm currently re-watching the Terminator franchise, I'm just watching it from this one, but, but this is a great DVD. When I watched it the first time, I watched it from this one at my uncle's house. He introduced me to these movies, yeah. I'm glad he did, yeah. Um, yes, yes, say, um, 2000, this is a 1991 film by Carolco Pictures, and distributed by, um, TriStar Pictures originally, now the rights are owned by Studio Canal, 
And this is a um, 2000 DVD by Artists and Home Entertainment. Of course, now the rights, the distribution rights for this film in the States are by Lionsgate because they bought Artisan. But in Canada, so you can now change the distributor to Mongrel Media. So net, the Mongrel owns the rights in Canada. RMUSA 188 in Canada. It used to be 14A in Canada in this edition, but now it's 18A in Canada. I'm just going to say 18A. And it is 156 minutes. And that's the extended special edition, so. And then, yeah, that's a great movie, so. And lots of great special features on this edition. So, yeah, there's the, um, just one where you see the T-1000. Oops, son. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there is just two where you see the T-800 going into the fire at the end of the movie. And, yeah, also, um, you got some little, some, like, this is actually the, they must have owned the other edition, the first edition DVD, too, because this is the little booklet that came with that one. Like, of course, the reprint from the Artisan. Originally, it was by Live Entertainment. From the Artisan reprint. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, it's, um... It's that, yeah, just like a little booklet. But that was from the previous edition DVD, which was... Which was just the, um... One... And it was statual version, and then, yeah, this is the, um... 32-page booklet for the Ultimate Edition DVD. As you can see, it has lots of good information in it. But, yeah. Okay, now the Extreme DVD that I have. Um... Yeah, also, this is actually a 2003 DVD by Artisan Home Entertainment. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I like the cover on this edition and the, the fact that it has it takes up less space on the shelf. So that's why I keep this one on my shelf. On my shelf, and I just put this one on the alternate shelf with the ones that are still good editions, but I have other, other editions too, maybe like an extended cut or a Blu-ray or a box set or something. But yeah, that's what... I'll show you that shelf at some point when I do my complete movie collection. But yeah, um, this one, it's not as good of an addition because here is, um, here we go. This is what it includes. You can see that there. On, on disc one, you can't access the theatrical version on as a regular DVD um, thing. You have to go to disc two and put it in your computer's DVD-ROM drive on Windows Media Player 9. Or higher, even though some people work, did a Windows Media Player 10 and it didn't work. So they were kind of lying, but... Yeah, you had to watch T2 High Definition, which is the complete theatrical version of the film. Microsoft Windows Media 9 series, playable in high definition and 5.1 sound directly from the PC. But it does have some cool new special effects, like, um, the FIBA while we make T2 on the set, which I think is actually on there too, but... Yeah, I know, it's actually not on there, actually. But it's, um, that's cool, and then T2 High Definition... Infiltration Unit Simulator and TA2 FX Studio. Those are pretty cool. You can model for yourself. It's got that combat Cassis design designer. So it's all new special. It's all new special features. But I still like the other edition more. Yeah. There's also a Dolby he new Dolby headphone track on disc one, and the all new audio commentary, screen interactive mode with graphic commentary and rear behind the scenes footage, and the Spanish dub styles and close, close captioning. Yeah. But this is a um. Edition that I think I preferred the other one. It was sad I didn't. I didn't. I should have got one that maybe had the inside insert inside because look, there's nothing. But that's fine. That's fine though. But I, it, I this 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 cover is what ma matters. The um the metal. This is actually the metal version. There was actually they reissued this in a cardboard case later. And also, this one original. This edition was actually actually also originally in a metal in a metal um case, but it was in a. Yeah, with one disc now, they did a cardboard case with two discs. They actually did a metal case, the metal case with two discs as well. I guess they figured it was easier. But the metal, the metal case, I guess, started cutting everyone. So I think that's probably why both of them reissued. They wanted to try a different kind of metal for this one because it was not as thin as the other one. But this one's still, I still got a couple rashes from it. When, I still got a couple cuts from it when I first got it. So yeah, there's the um, disc one. This is actually the Canadian printing from Alliance Atlantis because the artisan's distributor at the time was Lionsgate. I mean, the well, artisan distributor in Canada was Alliance Atlantis, and Lionsgate, and Lionsgate distributor in Canada at the time was Maple. Now, then it was Alliance. Now it's E1. But yeah, so E1 never distributed this film. Yeah, there's just two. Yeah, some both. They both good discs. See, it's 14A. There didn't get rated 18A until I think the um, 
either a, re the re a reissue of this with the cardboard case or the, um, it might actually might have been, it was either that or the um, 2006 Blu-ray, because I know in the uh, 2009 Blu-ray had the 18A classification on it. Yeah, there's actually also the um, chapter, chapter index. Yeah, the DVD, this two, the DVD ROM, the actual version chapter index. That's really annoying. That's what that you have to go to the DVD ROM you need to get that, and also stream DVD first. Yeah, some of the special features actually are on the disc, but not many. Like yeah, they're mostly they're trying to focus on the DVD ROM with this edition, which I tried to do that. And interactual player is just a bit annoying. It's because it's old software, and I it's not as easy to use these days. And yeah, that's why I mostly like that other edition better, personally. But T2 is still a great film. They did a better job with the sequel. There's my cat Smudge, by the way. You've probably seen her in a couple videos. Yeah, um, yeah, Terminator 2 Judgment Day is a better fit. Oh, Smudge, don't do the surprise. At the end, yeah, there's a little thing I'm going to show you at the end. Um, yeah, so, there's, um, yeah, Terminator 2 um, Judgment Day. Um, this is a great movie. It's better. They did better than the first one. Um, yeah, Arnold, Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Robert Patrick is great. I saw Robert Patrick first in Spy Kids, and he actually made a Terminator 2 reference. These, this is your big idea? Robot kids that look like my children. Yeah, so that was pretty funny. But yeah, um, but Terminator 2 is a better film than the first one, I think. But I recommend both. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. I enjoyed this movie as well. I really liked it. This is the two-disc widescreen edition. This is a two. Th this is a 2003 film by Intermedia and C2 Pictures, and this is a um, yeah. It also was distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures in North America, the Columbia Pictures internationally, and this is a 2003 DVD by Warner Home Video. Yeah, by one home video, the um, 2003 DVD, of course, the, 2000, the UK DVD, like the international DVD, was by Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment, of course, now called Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Yeah, this is a pretty good movie. It has the TX, which is a female Terminator, and also has a grown up John Connor that we see as one of the main protagonists of the film, and Claire Danes is his future wife. And it really it does a good job continuing the story. All the movies were made by different studios, produced, so some of them were distributed by the same, but, like, those two, but yeah, um, but all being made by different studios, they really did a good job continuing each, each, each for each of the movies, continuing the previous story. The rights got passed along, but they still did a fantastic job. Yeah, this is a great, this is a really good film. This is the two disc edition. Now, what was sad, I, I yeah, this one actually, my uncle has the original edition, which comes with a bunch of flyers. I'm gonna ask him if I can take some of those home because he doesn't really need the flyers, I don't think. So next time I see him, I'm gonna ask him if I can bring some of those home. Same with the slipcover for T2, the Ultimate Edition, I'm not, I'm not sure, but probably the flyer, so let me keep, but yeah. Um, but this is actually, the disc one actually is just no artwork on there, but disc two has the TX, so the original, like, on the endoskeleton. On the, um, the, um, DVD, the original DVD release, um, the one that was before, same, this is the same release, but different cover, I mean, different artwork, there's no artwork on there. This actually had the T1, T, T800 as the, um... Main thing, yeah. But this is actually a really good movie. I really enjoyed it, and I loved. I loved what they did with this, with the um, continuation of the story. And the cemetery fight scene is the, is one of the one of my favorite Terminator scenes. Not well, it's not one of my favorite. But I really enjoyed the the cemetery scene. It was pretty good. So yeah. So Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. If even if you're only like even if you think that the first two are good. I like this one, so if you haven't seen this uh, movie, give it a give it a watch. I highly recommend it. And then we got Terminator Salvation. Actually, this one I got at a Walmart last year for five bucks. Yeah, and then Terminator Salvation. I got this at Giant Tiger for five bucks as well. This is the two disc digital copy special edition of the director's cut. But it has special features on disc two, but mostly the disc two, the information is taken up by the digital copy, which is expired. But yeah. I didn't get the Blu-ray for this one. I just found this, but that's fine because I don't really haven't really seen this one. I gotta give this a watch when I'm re as I rewatch it. I didn't watch it first because Arnold Schwarzenegger is not in the movie. But yeah, her, her, yeah, heart pounding and I didn't read the quotes for the other ones. So but yeah, this is actually I forgot to say um, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines is R in USA 14 in Canada and it is 109 minutes. 
Um, yeah, but this one is um, PG. The, of course, the theatrical cut was PG thirteen USA, fourteen in Canada, but and it was um, one hundred and fourteen minutes. But this cut is R in USA, fourteen in Canada, one hundred and seventeen minutes. But yeah, it's um, I haven't seen this movie, so I'll have to give it a watch. The guy I bought the surprise from, which is at the end of the video, which I'll put it in the title so you'll know. What it is. Um, he said he actually liked this movie. A lot of people didn't, but yeah. This is a 2009 film by the Halcyon Company. It was distributed by um, Warner Brothers Pictures in North America and Columbia Pictures internationally. And this is a 2009 DVD by Warner Home Video. Of course, internationally the DVD was released by Colum by um, Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. But yeah, it's um. It's a pretty good film. It doesn't say, um, it just says director's cut on there, but it doesn't say two disc digital copy special edition. It just says two disc special edition. Must have been in case, must have been in case the, the digital copy expired, I think. Must have been in case the digital copy expired, which it did. So, but I got it with the slip cover, Giant Tiger, which was really good, even though it is a bit damaged, as you can see. There, yeah. There's, yeah, there's your digital copy cut. It's the only thing that comes with this. This is a newer DVD, a newer movie, yeah. There's disc one with the director's cut of the movie. And there's this too, which is which has the um, there's the features. This does not include the theatrical cut, so that's some um, kind of a letdown. But you know, cool to see both cuts. But it doesn't matter. Probably the director's cut might be might be better because a lot, my uncle says that he, he my uncle who actually introduced. So I'm going to talk about him a lot in this video. You know, my my uncle said he um, thinks that directors the directors cuts or extended cuts. They're not really necessary because he thinks that they need they the theatrical version just cut out what they needed to cut out like the other stuff wasn't really necessary in the film. I like the extended cuts though personally. I think they're really good. It's e nice to have something a bit extra. And if you like the movie and you get the extended cut, there's something a bit extra that you'll get. And now for the um, ultimate surprise. You ready? I got it at HMV today for um about thirty bucks, but it was worth it, and I. And now this one, and I've been waiting. To, I, I've been waiting for the price to go down. I finally um, got it. Terminator Genesis. This is the limited edition Blu-ray gift set that has the endoskeleton bust, endoskull bust, and yeah, also includes the Blu-ray. Yeah, it's a nice box. I'm probably going to keep the box. Yeah. So then, um, you see the Blu-ray back there, but I'm just going to open this right now. So, um, bear with me here. I only got five more minutes in this video, so probably it'll be over. So, yeah, if I open this up, it's going to be pretty hard. There we go. I got it open. There we go. So I'm gonna open this up, and then you'll see inside what we got. This is hard to get out because it's um. This is actually yeah. This is the endo skull bust. I'm gonna open this up to show you. It's very small and very not very heavy, but this is what it is. It's pretty cool. But I enjoyed the movie Terminator Genesis a lot. I, enjoy, I enjoyed it a lot. I, I didn't understand what all the critics were saying. It was a good movie, and don't let and don't let any other critics tell you bad. Because um, if you like the movie, you like the movie. If you didn't, you didn't. Everyone has their own opinion. So I enjoy. I really enjoyed it. So I thought it was a great, a great Arnold. I thought Arnold returning. Excuse me. I just gotta put this thing back in packaging. Yeah, I thought Arnold returning was great. His return, his return as the T-800 was fantastic, and he played a very different role. Instead, of, he played a father figure to Sarah Connor instead of a guy who's out to kill her. But because they actually kept building new T-800s after each one got murdered in each movie, so yeah. Anyways, this is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack. This is a um, this is PG-13 USA, 14A in Canada, and it's um, 125 minutes, but. It's a 2015 film by Paramount Pictures and Skydance Productions, and this is a 2015 Blu-ray by Paramount Home Media Distribution. Some good special features on there. Cool, it's right there, yeah. And then, getting the actual movie open is a bit of a 
challenge. Uh, I gotta keep some of these digital codes. There's another. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why um every Paramount. I wonder. I wonder why every Terminator film was made by a different studio. But even though that is tr the way it is, they do a really good job at continuing each story and make it all one big story. Collaboration of a bunch of big studios. Some of them, a bunch of small studios actually. Like, all the studios that did these movies were quite small. They're not really big, big names in movie history. Well, the distributors are were or are are or were, but now they aren't. Dang, this is really hard to get open. Okay, this is um. I only got two minutes left, so. Dang, I should. There, got it. Oh, that was hard. That was the hard, hardest um, plastic to ever get off of a DVD or Blu-ray. But one of the one of the um, hardest stuff. I might have had harder ones because I do buy a lot of movies. So same artwork. Yeah, there. We go. And inside you got the. I don't like how they always put the DVD there first and then the Blu-rays on the other side. I'm gonna have to change that around. There's an ad for Terminator Genesis Revolution app, and there's the digital code. Don't steal it from me. Yeah, so, there's all the Terminator films. Hope you enjoyed this video, and this is Picture Man 1001 signing out. Peace out.